Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you where you can change the domain name that's assigned to one of your FASO shared hosting packages. I, I will show you how to change it for a shared wo WordPress hosting package. Again the process is exactly the same so I'll show you where to find that link but to start with I'm just going to go through web hosting uh, which is just our shared hosting platform. So click on that link and it's going to give you a list of all your hosting packages so then just click on the domain name you want to change the domain for and uh, what's worth noting is that if I see that set up your package that's what happens when there's no domain name assigned to the package and that'll be relevant in just a second so if we scroll down here we're going to get this link to change domain name and we get two options here we can either use an existing domain or we can remove a domain.co.uk from this package removing the domain will just show, like as I showed you a second ago will just leave the package open but it will just have the link to set up your domain so you can add a domain to it at a later date if you want to worth noting that both of these options now both of these options will delete all the data assigned to this package and um, there's a warning that will give you that warning before you do it so i just go through the checklist to make sure you've got backups and it also was worth noting that removing the domain name will not actually close the package so you will continue to be billed for it Okay, so with that in mind, I'm not going to do the remove option because that literally just removes the domain name, but I'm going to change the domain name. So if I click continue on there and I'll show you the options. So we've got three, three options here. We can register a new domain, we can choose a domain name in your account, or we can use a domain registered elsewhere. Um, if you're using a domain registered elsewhere, you just type it in here. So you just put mydomain.co.uk, for example, if that's what it was. But this would be a domain name you've got registered with another provider. If you've got domains unassigned in your account, you can just choose them here. So, for example, um, I could just use uh, testing.co.uk and use selected domain. If you've got a domain registered in your account and you're not seeing it listed here, that's because it's going to be attached to another product. So that could be a WordPress hosting package or it could be an email only package. But you would need to just remove the domain from the other package before you could add it to this one. Now, I'm not actually going to change the um, change the domain name here, but if we just actually click use that selected domain, I just uh, show you the warning you'll get because it's worth noting. So here we go. Um, it just says warning you're about to change the domain name assigned to package and it gives you a list of all the data that's going to be deleted. So I would definitely recommend checking you've got data backups of all of that. Sometimes people forget the less obvious ones like databases, for example. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's worth noting. So you do tick that, click continue and that package will get redeployed with that new domain name. Now that can take about it can take up to half an hour before it becomes accessible again but that would all be all you needed to do i'm not actually going to change the domain name for this package though now i'll show you how to find that for wordpress hosting now so if we just go on to there i've only got the one on my account at the moment so here we can see remove domain name um, so we can again do that same process again deletes all the data and um, but it just means you can then add a new domain name to that and start from scratch with that existing package if you've got an email only package that link to change the domain name would be found in here so if we just go to this one here hex.fastestwebinars.com we make sure we're on this web forwarding tab so sometimes you might be in this email tab and be used to i'll just quickly show you that so this is the email tab for that but you just go to web forwarding and scroll down and that link to change the main name is just there and everything applies everything will be deleted from that account and that's all there is to it thank you very much for watching goodbye for now